Hello, this is Daniel and welcome back to another character modeling tutorial series. This time around we are going to create the character that you can see on the screen right now. And before we get ahead of ourselves, let's just take a look very quickly at the contents. In this series there are obviously going to be lots of videos about various topics and this is just the very first part. We're going to talk today particularly about collecting references, uh, we'll draw some additional material and we will do some external research where I basically introduce you to another artist whose uh, work I really think is a good example for this particular style. Uh, speaking about style, this time we're going to um, tackle the style that you requested the most, Japanese animation or anime style, and I think that all of you will like it. So then, let's go and move on to the first topic collecting references. I believe that is that it is very important to have references on hand when you create a character because it is very difficult to create a 3D model without having a clear picture in mind. You will end up failing if you don't have a reference and you know failing too often it will just take away your motivation and self-confidence so it is a good idea to limit the amount of failure to something that you can endure and therefore using reference can be a very valuable tool. Now to collect reference, the first thing that I did was to collect available images. Now let me talk a bit about this character. This is the original concept art that I actually drew myself four years ago. And you might remember it from a tutorial series that I never finished in 2016. I'm very sorry for letting you down back then, but I had kind of struggled to finish it, I wasn't satisfied with the quality, so I ended up giving up on this project. But now in 2020 we're back at it and I'm, I'm confident this time around that we'll be able to finish it. So therefore I begin by collecting these images from 2016. This first one gives me already a very nice image of the colors and the mood that I want to achieve, but quite honestly it is a bit rough. I also drew another sketch just of the proportions, which uh, I was not happy with as it really didn't represent my, my first concept art too well. I then drew another image to figure out the mood more properly and to get the colors a bit more clear. However, um, the style did change a little bit, which I wasn't too happy with. I tried to create a face, um, only kind of character sheet from that sketch which turned out this way but you can see again the detail is not that clear and finally I tried it again with more detail but once again the style changed extremely to a different direction. So all in all my references weren't all that great but I did my best back then in 2016 and it maybe wasn't too big of a surprise that it didn't work out in the end. Now. Here is the result from my modeling process back then. I made a little bit of progress, but um, you can see it is not the best. Um, maybe it's also not the worst either, but it just wasn't really what I expected for my next tutorial series. Now let's move on to the present time. I looked at these references and it was clear to me that we had to draw a little bit more to get some additional information. So I sat down and drew a little bit. You can see on the left side my drawing process. I started out by creating just a little sketch of the kind of the atmosphere I want. I then did a kind of a di like a view from a perspective where I wanted to capture again the expression and the atmosphere. Then when I was kind of confident about this sort of the kind of face that I wanted, I went ahead and drew a front and a side view. And then I also challenged myself to draw the whole body where I especially focused on the proportions and sort of the, the volume and the balance. Um, once I'm done with this front view, you'll also see me uh, draw a few more faces from the side as well as the entire body from the side because sometimes it can be difficult to figure out the depth from just a front view. And especially the reason why I have several side views for the face is because that was one of the points that I was the most um, maybe uncomfortable with or I didn't have much confidence about. Therefore, uh, I at least drew a few of them so that I could maybe 
during the sculpting process choose the one that I like the most. Now this is all the reference that I have for this um, original character. However, it is always a good idea to do some more external research to be inspired by other artists. There is one particular uh, user on Twitter that I want to introduce to you who does some very fascinating work also with Blender, and that is Twitter user uh, Rookie Kuri, I think. <laughs> I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced, but you can see the name on the screen. And I want to introduce some artwork to you from this artist. You can see that uh, he or she um, published um, the blend file for this particular character and it was a very very good place for me to learn many of the techniques that were applied here and quite honestly the results are some of the best I've seen so far and it is my intention to use many of these techniques in this tutorial series so I just want to make sure that all the credit is given to this artist who really did some fascinating work. Uh, here are some more images of this particular character uh, that were also published on Twitter. You can see that the face topology is a very different approach from what I would have usually done. And I will most likely be using a different approach to get to this result. However, um, in the end, the, the ending should lo be looking something like this and in this way, I think we'll be able to create a very nice stylized character. Now, this sort of concludes all the topics I wanted to talk about today. Let's quickly go through our points. We did collect references. We collected some, uh, we did draw some additional material and we did some external research. The next step uh, is going to be to do the blocking. So. That is basically to lay out your character with very simple shapes uh, using sculpting techniques. And I am going to use ZBrush actually for this process. Uh, sculpting, however, is pretty much the same in any software, no matter what you use. And because I want to make sure that you all can follow along in Blender, next week is going to be a quick introduction to sculpting in Blender. So that when in two weeks, when I begin to do the blocking in ZBrush, so that those of you who do not have ZBrush can follow along in Blender just fine. Once the sculpting is done, we will be switching back to Blender. So for those Blender users out there, uh, don't worry, you'll get to use Blender a lot. So then this concludes the first part of this video. There's a lot to come. I'm planning to release this series on a weekly basis. So make sure to come back next week. Also, if you like this video, please like and leave me a comment to share your thoughts and consider subscribing. You can also support me through Patreon, the link is in the description. And all in all, I just hope that you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.